Hi, hi, Ellie Walsh here, and today let's talk about Google Analytics and your ENV, your Empower Network version, too. Somebody asked me about it today, and I realized while I had Google Analytics for version 1, I actually never changed it, for, and we, we were supposed to add it in. So it, whether you've done this before or not, Google is your friend, so go to Google and type it in, Google Analytics, there it is. That's going to bring you, you go over to this site then. Now, you need to have a Google account. So if you have a Gmail account, you have a Google account. If you have a Google Plus account, you have a Google account. So it wants you to sign in or create an account. So when you go to sign in, I'll sign in on this account. I actually don't have my Google Analytics in this, but I just want to show you what would happen. So since I don't have a Google uh, Analytics for this Gmail account, I have a couple of Gmail accounts, you're going to see this. You want to click Sign Up. If you're this, doing this for the first time and you've never had any analytics, and then just follow along on this page. Now, I, on my other one, I'm pretty sure I have this Universal Analytics. It's beta. I have it all marked. I, I don't know. <laughs> It counts the people, that much I know. In here, give your account a name, give your website a name. Here's where you put your URL. Now, I do know, so you go in and grab your URL from here. Make sure you, well, you don't have to be signed in. So, you would put that in here. You would select an industry category read all this other good stuff, and then tell it, get tracking ID, and that should give you the ID, and I'll show you what that looks like. I'm going to go over here to this browser. I was in here earlier. Again, I'm, I am actually signed into a, a Gmail account right now. I, I put it in here in, you know, Google. It brings me to this page. I tell it, access Google Analytics and because I have a Google Analytic account already this all comes up because I have lots of websites in here. Now here's my Empower Network site. We can click here all web data and I'll tell you what well here laugh at this you see October 11th when we went to ENV2 because I hadn't put in the tracking ID, I flatlined. <laughs> there were people there, but they weren't being recorded. To, to, to go get that code to put into your new ENV2, go over to Admin. And it happens to show up here first, but if you have a list of other ones, go in and grab it. You can go to, well, go to Property Settings. This is what I did. If you remember before, our websites were Empower Network forward slash with your username. And actually, I did it here. That still works. And it does revert to, let's tell it enter. But it comes to this ID now. This, I mean, URL. This is the way the URL is being shown. So, in my Google Analytics account, it was the old way, and I did this a little while ago before I made this video. I changed it. And I don't know if it matters because it reverts. But it reverts to the to that one. But I changed it anyways, and I hit the save button. Now your ID is actually right here. This is what you want for your Empower site. So copy that. Come on over to your Empower site. Make sure you're at the View Edit My Blog and click the plus sign. And then come right over here to SEO Options. And I, I just did this a little while ago. Put it right in there and tell it save changes. And now you're tracking. Now, if you've 
if you need to set up, if you're brand new and you need to set up a new account in here, well, let's see how we do that. So from that admin area in property, whether you have one or a gazillion sites, go down here to create new property. And here's where you would fill this all out. So again, this is if you if you have an analytic site, an analytic account, a Google Analytic account, and you want to add, you give it a name, put in your EN v version two, your EN blog uh, URL, grab it from here, and put it in, and then select category. So similar to if you were setting this up for the first time. So it, and then click get tracking ID and you'll get that. This is a little confusing, the new look to all of that, at least for me it is. So it looks like the admin area, if you click over here, in the so it's a property. So that's where you're going to find it to create new property. I think we've covered it all. Brand new account, add to account, or change the one you've already had. I hope this helps. If you have any questions, comments, leave them here or come on over and see me at the Facebook page. I'll leave that at the end of the video. Have a great day.